I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fiber of my entire being. How are you feeling right now, beautiful soul? So I wanted to share with you today about keeping going, about staying focused. I was running a workshop at the weekend and a, and a gentleman asked me, Jerry, how is it you keep going? When you're defeated, when you're down in the gutter, when everything crumbles down on top of you, against all odds, where do you get the energy from? How do you keep going in those situations? You see, in life, being challenged is inevitable. Being defeated, on the other hand, is optional. It's a choice. And my answer came down to that one simple word, beginning with C, choice. You get to choose in every single situation, whether you stop, whether you turn around and go the other way, whether you keep going, whether you ponder for a moment and maybe take a different course. Life is always gonna throw you challenges. Star Magic, the business, my mission, okay, it's more than a business, it's a mission. It's so close to my heart that it's in my heart, it flows through my heart, it's what I am as a human being. I live it, breathe it, sleep it. And people look at Star Magic, we're traveling the world, we're running healing workshops, we're running seminars and meditation groups, and we're changing people's lives. We're helping the planet transform, as well as our human species. And people look at me, our team, the business, the mission, and they look at all the good things that are happening. Oh, it must have been easy for Jerry to get to this place. You know, maybe Jerry just hand, had it handed to him on a silver spoon. It wasn't like that. When this person asked me this question in the workshop the other day, I was explaining about my life story. Many people don't know that I have been to the top and down into the gutter so many times. At a young age, I made enough money to set myself up for life and then lost it all. Uh, around the age of 20, I was a millionaire. I lost everything. By 26, 27 years old, I'd set up a property business and make millions. Again, lost it all. I remember being out on the street one day with my ex-wife and two kids. We had no money. All of our properties were repossessed. We had no cash. I was like minus half a million pounds. This person said to me, Jerry, how did you keep going in that moment? What did you think about? Well, I didn't really think about anything apart from putting some food into my family's mouths. And to do that, I went and borrowed some money off a friend to feed them. That was my first port of call. I actually went back to my old criminal activities after that and started selling drugs again, amongst other things, because it was quick money. I didn't once think I'm never gonna get out of this situation. I never felt defeated. Yeah, it was a nightmare. It was hard, it was tough, but not once did I think about quitting or stopping. I wanted to get to the next level. So I did what I had to do to survive and move forwards. And then I ended up making a lot of money again. And then my best friend, or so-called best friend at the time, who's actually the godfather of my daughter, that's how much I trusted this guy, stole almost 1.5 million pounds off me and put me back again. How do you keep going? Third time around, you're making it back, you're making a lot of money, and then you get kicked in the bollocks. I just kept going, I found a way. And it was around that sort of time that my spiritual journey started. And then the next 10 years led me to Star Magic. And here I am now. I'm in a place called Buffalo in New York State, 
this amazing lake all around me, the forest in the background. I'm on an awesome retreat center. At the weekend, we ran a galactic recalibration workshop. Tomorrow, I'm starting a five-day facilitated training. I've just been hanging about for two days in this awesome space. This is what my life's like now. But it didn't always be like this. I had to climb, I had to crawl, I had to do whatever it took in certain situations. I had to bleed, I was sweating, I've been through the mill so many times, but not once did I make that choice that this was the end. You are never defeated unless you decide to stop. You have the minerals inside of you, you have the genetics, you have the strength, the knowledge, the wisdom, the energy. You have everything inside of you to keep going. Most successful people don't start their businesses until after 38 years old. Most successful businesses don't become successful until they've been in operation for 15, 20 years. It takes time to build and you've got to go out into the world and you've got to make mistakes. And they're not really mistakes, they're just stepping stones and blocks to help you build the foundation of who you are, to get to know yourself, your strengths, your weaknesses, what makes you, what breaks you, what qualities you have. And you can bring those qualities into a big bag of tricks and then you can use that big bag of tricks as you get more knowledgeable and wiser to put them into something solid. And that's what I've done throughout my life. I just make that choice to keep going and find a way. You can do the same. Being defeated is a choice. It is an option. I don't choose that option and neither should you. You're an extraordinary, powerful human being. A spiritual being enjoying this human experience. Well, you should be anyway. And if you're not, go into your heart and connect. Don't connect out here connect in here. The outside world can't help you, but you can help yourself. You truly are amazing and I love you unconditionally. Decide right now, before anything comes into your path, that you're going to find a way. You're going to climb, you're going to run, you're going to crawl, you're going to jump, you're going to go around, over, under, through, whatever it takes. And as you do, you're going to grow, you're going to thrive, you're gonna become more of who you are. It's the journey that makes you, man. It's the journey. Because when you get to where it is that you wanted to go to, no one's ever really satisfied. It's a benchmark. You stay there for a little while and acclimatize, and then you get bored, and then you go to the next level. And that's what keeps people alive. That's what keeps people growing. That's what helps people live and live and live. It's only when you stop that you fall apart. I remember my nan. She worked until she was 80. She used to get up in the morning at five o'clock, walk into town. It was a three mile walk and she'd clean old people's homes. She was an old lady. She'd walk back in the evening. She did this five days a week. She stopped when she was 80. There was nothing wrong with her, but she decided to stop. Six months or so later, she got a bad hip. She had a replacement. Six or so months later, the other hip went. She was dead within two or three years. When you stop, you're dead. Keep going. But don't, throw, don't keep going because you do it from fear. Do it because you want to keep growing. Do it because you love what you're doing. Find your life mission grow into it, evolve into it, let it flow through you. Let your physical body, your energy body, your emotional body, your spiritual body, let all of you become your mission. Breathe, eat and sleep it, beautiful soul. You are a powerful being and I love you unconditionally. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Share these positive videos with your friends and your family. If you're watching it on Facebook, like it and share it. Together we can change this world. Together we can transform humanity. We're a family, we're a tribe, one frequency, one code, one force. Love is the answer, 
Love is the key, love is the question. This will take you everywhere, your life compass. Check out starmagichealing.com. I'll see you again real soon, beautiful soul. One love, one heart, one human family. Peace out.